starting. Okay. Um, so I think that we really should focus our energies on to new ways to save the environment, such as um, looking into more like solar panels and um, more solar powered things rather than using like our fossil fuels. Um, because it, in a recent study that was just uh, released by NASA, um, we have 12 years left before our ecosystem is completely destroyed and um, there's no nothing we can do to reverse it. Um, so I think that it's a really big issue of ours and something that we really need to prioritize. Um, so whether that's looking into more solar energy, um, whatever we really need to do, but it should be one of our main priorities. All right, I think that I don't think anyone in here can argue that without renewable natural energy, America's economy and our um, like nature, our environment would be in shambles. Um, I personally support the increase of renewable energy sources and spending on research to find new sources of the, these renewable energies. Uh, one kind of way I think we could um, maybe support companies and push them towards using more renewable energy sources is like incentive, tax incentives for people who, uh, like for example for cars, tax incentives for people who use more energy efficient cars. Um, so I feel like incentivizing American people and American companies um, would push us in the right direction towards fixing what we've done to destroy our environment. Me and my campaign believe that America should move away from the use of coal and start relying more on renewable resources. In 2011, a Harvard reporter found that the, cycle, the life cycle effects of coal and the waste stream generated are costing the U.S. Public, public a third to over one half of a trillion dollars annually. Also, according to Rainforest Action Network in 2012, coal accounted for 37.4% of U.S. electricity generation. As of 2010, coal accounted for 43% of global greenhouse gas emissions from fuel combustion. <coughs> These two facts show that not only is coal bad for the environment, as it accounts for 43% of greenhouse emissions, but it also hurts American citizens' pockets. We believe America should cut back on the use of coal to opt for more renewable resources such as moving water, thermal gradients in ocean water, biomass, geothermal energy, solar energy, and wind energy. Though you can't get rid of all coal right now, it is important to take steps forward. I believe we should increase the use of renewable energy because with its sources such as wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, and hydropower, they have significant environmental impacts that are important. And for example, wind power, it harnesses power from the wind, making it one of the cleanest and most sustainable ways to generate electricity. It helps eliminate the production of toxic pollution and or greenhouse gas emissions. The sun provide, proves to be a tremendous resource for solar power to also promote clean electricity. Not only do renewable sources create various benefits for the earth, but also for people. Now you might be asking, what are some of these benefits? Well, more jobs are created because renewable energy tends to be more labor intensive than fossil fuel sources of energy. There are better health benefits and it helps save money because once the initial cost of construction and setup of a renewable power source is covered, it can quite quickly begin to pay for itself. It doesn't affect the environment as much as fossil fuels and nuclear energy do. Nuclear plants release enough, enough carbon dioxide to create damage when they are built. They also emit low levels of radiation that also prove to negatively affect the environment. Thus, we should expand our use of renewable energy in the United States. So, I completely agree with Laura. I want to have a big push for solar energy mainly. And compared specifically to coal, um, solar energy uses 89% less water, occupies 80% less land, 95% less toxic to humans, and contributes to about, and will contribute less um, 97% less to acid rain, um, and just overall not produce little, oh, no air pollution because there's no burning fuels produced from solar energy. And therefore, I think that will be our best option. Um, for me, I believe that energy, um, renewable energy is necessary for uh, us to advance as a, as a country with pollution becoming an increasingly important issue and fossil fuel supply slowly diminishing. Yeah, I believe that is imperative to, um, that funding should be put towards finding new ways of clean energy. Uh, it seems the rest of the world is on board with us. Um, well, not on board with us, but the rest of the world is on board. With the Paris Agreement being passed by 118 countries on November 4th, 2016, it states all countries in the agreement must take certain measures to reduce pollu pollutions in the atmosphere and waterways. And I believe we should uh, hop on board and save the world just as much as everybody else wants to. 
In the United States, over 10 million megawatt hours worth of energy is used per day. Some of that energy is used some of that energy used is still created by non-renewable energy sources like coal and gasoline. Similar sources of energy that produce the same amount, if not more, energy are renewable energy sources. Some of these are wind power, hydroelectric, and thermonuclear. These energy sources are better for the environment by not putting out harmful emissions into the atmosphere. Renewable energy sources also are easier to obtain and are also cheaper for the consumer to use. So our current use of energy is producing a lot of pollution, with some studies pushing it around 40% of our pollution to exist. And so that's a problem because it's not just an issue of our environment, but also our public health, in which when we're exposed to a lot of pollution, it creates public health issues like respiratory diseases. And for our environment and for our health, we need to help push away from that and realize that we can benefit our health and our economy, like mentioned previously, by noticing that we can do other things. And it's not just solar, it's not just hydroelectric. We can find new options because hydroelectric had to have been found and innovated and discovered. We can find new things, we can improve on what we already had to improve the efficiency and improve our public health in general. Resources are 100% the best bet, specifically solar, wind, and hydro, because we are basically killing our planet. Stephen Hawking warned us that we were going to kill our planet within the next 100 years if we didn't stop polluting the planet. And I believe a good solution to this would be to start making stricter emissions laws, because like even locally, you look around, like in Marengo, you don't have to get your emissions tested. Like you don't have to do any of that. And around here, you know, it's more strict. But Putting stricter policies like that in place around the whole country would help us reduce our pollution slowly but surely. But the clock is ticking with this because you know, it's a big issue.